Well, good morning, everybody. I had a very interesting conversation with a friend of mine last week, and I'm going to share it with you this morning because it reminded me of the Bible story Sean will be teaching on. I was taking a walk with my friend, Principal Judy, and she started talking about a tricky situation at school. I was like all ears. Here's what happened. Three kids, Clara, Claudia, and Charlie, came to her and said they caught a girl stealing. They were in the classroom waiting for class to begin when they saw her, Hazel, reach into someone's backpack, not her own, and take out some money. This wasn't the first time that Hazel stole things. Clara insisted she had money stolen from her backpack, and she was sure it was Hazel, because that day Hazel bought ice cream for lunch. Hazel never buys ice cream. And Claudia knew that Hazel had taken her purple hair scrunchie because she couldn't find it, and the next day she saw Hazel with one. Shocked, the kids didn't know what to do. Should they confront her? No, they couldn't do that. She was mean and cruel and a liar. She would never admit that, that she stole the money. Should they tell the teacher? They didn't think the teacher would believe them because the teacher seems to really like Hazel in spite of her loud, scratchy voice and her dirty, sloppy clothes. Finally, after much discussion, they decided the best person to go to was the principal, Miss Judy. Miss Judy would believe them and do the right thing. After all, Stealing is breaking one of the Ten Commandments, and they are in the Bible, and Miss Judy goes to church. When the kids went to Miss Judy's office, she said she would need to bring Hazel in, too, and then they could tell Hazel what they saw. With all the kids in the office, Principal Judy explained to Hazel that these kids were accusing her of stealing, and then she asked Hazel, what do you have to say about that? As soon as Miss Judy said that, Claudia said, well, we don't care what she has to say because all three of us saw, saw her take money out of John's backpack. And then Clara said, with our own eyes we saw her. She's a stealer and a liar. Principal Judy, we care about what you think. Well, Charlie piped in, so what are you going to do about it, Principal Judy? Well, I'm going to stop right there because Jesus had a very similar situation. In John chapter 8, we find Jesus teaching in the temple as usual when in came a group of Pharisees. Remember, those are the teachers of the religious law. And they brought with them a woman. They had said they had, they had caught her doing something very, very bad. Now they told Jesus they knew what the law said, but they wanted to know what he would do. So Jesus looked at them and said, well... If any of you has never committed a sin, has never done anything wrong, then you can be the one to start the process. And then he proceeded to look down on the ground, and he started writing in the dirt. Well, guess what? They left one by one. Not one of them was left. When Jesus finally looked up, he said, where are your accusers? Is there anyone left that accuses you? And the woman said, no one. And then Jesus said, well, I don't either. But go now and don't sin or do anything wrong again. So let's go back to our story and find out what happens with Hazel. Now, if you remember, we left her in the office with Principal Judy and the kids. Miss Judy said to the kids, before I answer you, I want you to think about something. Have any of you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you? Maybe something from your brother or sister, or pencils or crayons from the school, or even something from a store. If you have, I think you should walk out of my office because you are guilty of stealing too. I'll wait while you think about it. At that point, all the kids left the office except Hazel. The whole time Hazel had kept her head down, she never looked at the kids or Miss Judy. And then Miss Judy said, Hazel, look up. All the kids are gone. There's no one left that accuses you. Hazel said, no one, Principal Judy? 
And then Principal Judy said, well, I don't either, but I will say don't steal anymore. We can help you if you need lunch money or anything else. So as you can see, Principal Judy and Jesus did the same thing. They were kind and compassionate. We need to be like them. When we find out that somebody did something wrong or very bad, we need to think, what would Jesus do? Would he think that person wasn't very good? Or would he think maybe that person needs some understanding and kindness and some help? So this week, I'm going to leave you with one thought. I want you to think about how you can be kind, how you can be caring, how you can be understanding and helpful to somebody, how you can be like Principal Judy and Jesus. Now at this time, I'm going to turn it over back to Denise, and she'll read our morning scripture.